Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and it's your girl Rachel and guys as you can see I'm in my kitchen area I want to prepare carrot chapatis so here is my flour here is my salt to taste here is my sugar here is my carrots as you can see I've already done the creating part here is my cooking oil then here is my measuring cup here is a small bowl of mine and then here is my warm water so guys here is my rolling pin i'm forgetting to mention so guys let's get into the video to start with i'll be opening my flour and then i'll measure Here is my measuring cup. Here is my first cup into the bowl. Here is my second one. And then the last, I'll be measuring the last one. So guys, here is my flour. I want to mix with my ingredients. I'll start with, with my carrots. Then here is my sugar to taste. Here is my salt. So guys, it's time to mix up the flour with the sugar, the salt. So guys, it's time to mix my flour with water and I'll be adding little by little until I get the correct texture of the dough I want So guys, you should make sure that your dough is soft enough to ease the rolling process and to make sure that your chapatis end up being soft. I'm still kneading my flour that is and it's almost ready as you can see. Now, not flour, some cooking oil. I'll then continue kneading it. And guys, as you can see, the the dough with with carrots and the and the normal one without it's quite different as this one has some yellow patches or rather orange patches of of the carrots. 
so I'll need like this for like two to three minutes then after I'm done I'll cover it with a clean piece of cloth tablecloth then I'll wait for like 15 to 30 minutes or you can wait more than that so long as you have time to do the same so guys you should need your your flour until there is hardly nothing on your hands it should not be sticky at all It's now time to cover my door. Here it is. Here it is. There is my door already covered. I'll wait for some minutes, then I'll come back to continue cooking. So guys, we are back to check on our, on our dough. And as you can see, it's very ready. It should not be sticky on your hands. Now let's get started. I want to make some small balls, then we will continue. I'll divide it into like five pieces. So guys, I'll be tackling one ball at a time. So guys, I'll be putting some flour on my working surface. Then I roll it to make some small balls before I continue. So guys, I'll be making some small balls, then I'll be placing them here on my tray as I wait to continue cooking. And guys, the secret as to why you should be leaving your door to settle for some time, it's, it's because it makes your chapatis more soft and it isn't the work of rolling. So I'll be smearing here my oil. You can just do it with your hand and divide this dough into bolts. Then you fold like this. Then 
like this then I'll be placing it there as I continue with the rest I don't want my chapati to be too thick that's why I've settled on this size see how it looks like this one is the second one we will continue like that until the last one then we will begin rolling this is how another one looks like this one is quite small and place it here so that i add some dough as i continue with the rest be keen with your oil at times you can pour it all down when you are in the middle of everything We will continue like that guys until the last one we repeat the same procedure then I'll be cutting them like that just like that these small ones you can put them aside as you continue to adjust the sizes I'll continue like this until the last dough is over. This one is quite big. Also, don't use a lot of flour while rolling because at times when your chapati is ready, it tends to have some flour on it which is not a good show. So just smear some little amount of oil for flexibility. So guys, I'll continue like that. Then I'll be dividing them. Like that then i'll fold them so guys here are my balls as you can see i want to start cooking i'll start one by one yeah. then i'll start the rolling
I don't know how you do it on your end. Do you dry the chapatis first before you start putting oil or how do you do it? Comment down and let me know how you do it. So guys, I'm trying not to use a lot of flour. Here is my pan. Here comes my other piece. I love when my chapatis are thin. I've already placed it on the pan. I'll just continue turning until I'm satisfied with how it looks like. So guys, I'm yet to put some oil on it. Guys, I love how this one is turning its color before I put some oil on. I want to remove this one. So guys, here are my chapatis. I'm yet to oil them. It's now time to oil my chapati. So guys, here are some of the chapati that I've already made. This one is ready. So guys, I'm done and this is the final product. And they have come out so neatly. I want to be to place them on a plate then I'll show the show you the final result before I end up the video So guys, let me know at the comment section what you think about the video and perhaps what you would like to see next.
guys before i end up the video i just want to show you how layered it is you can see for yourselves you can just open it as a book see how it looks like and this is exactly what i wanted see how layered it is and guys before i finish off this is just the final view of my chapati and how they look like and let me know at the comment section what you think about it they are soft as they appear and i'm so happy about it this is exactly what i wanted and they came out so perfectly and i can't wait to eat them and until some other time bye bye and see you in the next video